Hey, this is Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez with Performance Play Sports Care, and we're going over three exercises or stretches to increase hip functionality uh, here today. So stay tuned for all three. The first one, she's in the position for already. Uh, if you look at where the feet are at, I won't go too much into detail, but for the most part, the knee is stacked over the foot. She has straight posture, so the spine stays straight the entire time. So go ahead and go into the stretch. So she's leaning forward and using that right elbow to kind of push out on the knee. This actually is helping with increasing mo motion of the groin right there. Can you point to where you feel it? So this is the inside or almost back portion of the groin. There's the adductor magnus as well as longus back there which are really important in regards to the hip function. Uh, the adductor group is, is a special one because it, it actually flexes and adducts and extends the hip so a lot of people don't know that. but. Uh, I would hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute and then flip sides and then do this probably, hopefully after you lift or a couple times throughout the week. The second stretch is, this one's typically called the pigeon stretch. The, the intention is to, is to get the back side of the front leg. Some people do it how she is doing right now, which you'll get the front side of the back leg as well, which is fine, but some people can't get in that position. And if they can't, they'll have to bring the leg up front, which she's doing now. So both are okay. Again, the intention of this is the front leg. Now, she's leaning with the right shoulder or the same side shoulder over the hip, which will get a portion of that lateral back or, or uh, posterior side. And as she's moving her other shoulder over the knee now, she's getting a different portion of that um, region, which if you want to call it the glute medius, the piriformis, there's a bunch of muscles back there and they actually fan down and attach into the same point. So one contraindication for this actually is if you have any uh, pinching pain in the front part of the hip, sometimes that's a sign of femoral acetabular impingement, um, a labral tear and so on. So this is not anything you want to force into. So I usually suggest hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute or so uh, and you want to only go to the point where you feel stretch on the back side. Another variation to this is on a bench. So go ahead and bring one leg up usually bend the knee to about 90 or so and this one I actually like it uh, to make sure that the knee and the whole part of the leg is actually flat on the bench same thing goes with the other variation mainly because if you have any type of knee uh, meniscus or cartilage issues if you bring bring that knee up a little bit so if you're like this sometimes it creates some torsion on the knee and it's uncomfortable so I go down again so as you see she's pretty much bringing the shoulder over the knee she's picking the right shoulder right now the back is straight, good posture, and then she can swing around and bring the other shoulder over the hip, which will then just get a different rotational effect uh, on that hip. So again, holding for the same duration of time. If there's any pinching on the front of the hip, that is not good. So uh, just be careful with this one. This stretch or exercise is a band-assisted warm-up. Uh, go ahead and throw that through the leg. You want to get it fairly high, uh, and the intention of this is for glide of the femoral head or stretching the, the capsule of the femur or the femoral acetabular joint. Now you can use this type of band stuff in multiple positions for this purpose. We're mainly using it for, uh, we're creating an anterior glide of that femoral head. So she's coupling it with a stretch for the hip flexor. So usually you have to uh, contract the butt cheek on the right side. Uh, bring that right arm up just so I can see in there. So point to where you feel it. So right underneath there, it's going to be around the point of the rectus femoris origin or the attachment of the iliopsoas. Now something to keep in mind for this, again, is if there's instability in that joint, then this could create uh, alternate types of uh, presentations or, or the way you feel it. So feeling it, uh, it, should be, it should feel good. It shouldn't feel painful at all. Because there are conditions of the hip such as uh, instabilities which basically make the joint really sloppy and uh, this wouldn't necessarily make it any better. So she's contracting the right butt cheeks, she's leaning in to increase the amount of stretch there and get the anterior glide or forward glide of the femoral head. And usually you can hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Choose your band wisely. If the band is uh, too hard then it's really going to yank on you. Um, it's going to be a really short therapeutic window rather than having some give.